would, or up until the Callista pick, it felt like we'd be looking only at the top side for G2. Echo and Renekton would love to have the support from Graves, but now it's very much a different story. Eyes on the junglers inevitably in this matchup, but the top laners as well. Uh, fighting a lot for lane priority here from G2. They are not going to let uh, Suning just have these free lane phases with the Callista coming out right now. No mana. He cannot help his jungler out here. Oh, this one's going to hurt so from He Sword really cares about Krugs. <laughs> And now stepping forward, Zordon's going to be in trouble here. Where's the follow-up going to go, though? TP now coming in. Park's actually going to be the one who gets turned on here. The TP now completing. Syndra on the way in. Angel now has a bit of mana. Big scatter of the week in the turn. That's going to be first blood. Caps just barely able to make it over the wall, but Hongfong is not done yet. But the Dragon is going to knock it back. It's going to stop him in his tracks. Still Sooning chasing forward, trying to maximize, trying to double down on this advantage, but have to be careful. The Dragon certainly helping out G2 at this point. Hongfong has to run for the hills. He's going to get locked down, but will he get taken out? No, the flag dragged through, but Yankos is going to flash over the top. Caps waiting on the backside. It's, it's a drawn out brawl. Wonder on the backside. What else can he get done? And then kite the croc. Flash forward is going to be able to lock him down, but does not stun the right target. Wants to go through the wall, but the portal, so tiny, doesn't make any sense to follow through on. And Caps now has to get out. Yankos has to get out. Where's he going to go? Waiting on the phase dive. Going to dash away to safety. Juan Fon coming through. Angel messes up the combo. He could have had it. Then path back towards Infernal and try to use Bin as a soaking pressure point to trade Dragon for his Camille. That's certainly a good question. Of course, we can expect the action to uptick at least a little bit. Is now Wonder be caught out, the hookshot wall dive, the leap in, but now Bard coming in across in the center all just a little bit too late there from Perks and Mickey. Nice kill pickup, Sword Art now gonna take over to level six as well. Just a lot of things going in favor of Suning. He's just really talented. It's been a long time where you've seen Hold that dive, big bad <laughs> stun, and goodbye to Angel. All right, one for one, team's now trading blows. Speaking of talented, <laughs> Caps, I was about to give a compliment to Ben and the top laners for uh, LPL, but I might not have a moment to do that as we are skirmishing very heavily over topside river control. Fighting the Herald, but they might fish for some kills as well. Wow. Just really impressive individual outplays um, from G2 to allow them to pick up these monster objectives. Multiple plates on perks here. Yankos is still sitting on the Herald. He can drop it here if he wants, or he can save it for mid lane. Um, and control over Herald is, excuse me, Dragon as uh, Suning trying to fight back. Big damage coming in. Perks now needs to make his way out to safety. Yankos is going to get shut down on the backside, though. Absolutely just shredded through by that Syndra. And now G2 are caught between the entire team. They're trying to get at least one kill back, but G2 very much over committing, getting nothing in exchange. Now they've got mid and they've got top pushing, but in the meantime, Suning is just clapping the fight. I uh, cast your curse the hell out of G2 right there. Uh, so I was just complimenting that in the kind of the last two fights, you know, the solo kill on mid, the outplay on the bot lane, especially with the TP, but then G2 just had to go in a way over commit there. They got greedy for the plates and Suning, like you said, just snap clapped on them. They got the resets onto the uh, the map. They picked up multiple kills in the bot lane. There wasn't any TPs to come in to save. It's going to be a big threat. And he's already a big threat right now. A little bit awkward there, but it's not going to matter too much. Wonder is just going to get locked up and taken down. A wasted Camille all, but soon not going to feel too bad about that one as they now push in on the top side of the map. Yeah, continuing to funnel gold also on the Camille. Now maybe you get some damage back here for G2, although you need to respect that if you don't have information about where the rest of uh, Suning are, that you can get flanked like this. Pull back, now looking to engage already. Sword Art now coming in though, stun should connect. Mickey gonna go down, Perks probably just next on the menu. G2 very much overplaying their hand. And rightfully punished. Two quote Kadrill, that's illegal. You didn't know that where Suning was. They could have absolutely flanked you and they do just that. Yeah, Ben now going in on Caps. He's running out of mana pretty rapidly, but I still think this trade favors him overall. Caps doesn't seem like he's gonna be able to turn this one. One more stun, just gets the Z Drive resonance and is now running out to safety, but here comes SOFM. Where's the Flag and Drag gonna go? Waiting for the ultimate. They're covering every angle. Gets him with the chilling smite, hits him with the emo, and my God, Sooning like we saw in the mid lane where G2 do not have the tools necessary to actually come out on top. There's also the issue that when G2 find themselves in this type of situation, usually they like to play hit and run League of Legends where they split up the map and play these side lanes. And while you can still do that on the Echo, for how powerful and how far ahead has been on this Camille, it is much harder to do that than they would usually even be in a position for it because Wonder is uh, killable at this point, although is itemized and towards the Bork, so does want to try to fight onto these side lanes, but needs to be much more careful about it. Definitely does. 
Big continuing to step forward here. Again, though, eyes on the Bardalt, eyes on the Jarvan. These are the big ways to kick fights off. Ben as well, getting scarier and scarier. So Suning really just able to walk up and push in. They've got four members here around the mid lane where G2 are just playing catch up on the side waves. And now Perks has been caught out. He's been isolated. The exhaust is now coming in. Mickey going to find the knockup, though. Can they take down Ben? They're running for the hills. Ben has he overstayed. No flash, remember. But the hook shot, the wall dive. The flash over from Wonder. The instant's done. Now they want to turn it. Yanko's stepping forward. Hong Fung going to be in trouble. Wonder immediately into the back line. This is where you want the Renekton. Collateral damage across the front. They're chasing them down. Angel going to get good damage down, but not nearly enough to finish a kill. Running now. Disengage for a brief moment. The extra movement speed isn't enough. The phase dive will connect. Sordar now has to run as well. G2 find a fight. They find a shutdown. They'll find the Drake as well. And just like that, they get an opportunity to bring themselves back into the game. Going blow for blow. Who's going to overextend this time? This time around, Suning go a little bit too deep. Now they do manage to get most of their members out. If maybe G2 had more of that hard engagement on screen. And well, Suning are winning this one. Harold's going to be dropped down. Bottom lane tower now going to fall. Wonder is on the top side looking to trade one for one on towers, but Yankos has now been caught out. Not nearly enough damage, and Caps might simply be another name on the list. Soonin continue to push forward. This Camille is just an absolute terror right now. Four, one, and three for Ben. You'd think that he had flash with the gaps that he's able to close. Yeah. Very. Don't <laughs> access to flash hookshot. It's so powerful. Vicky has to be very careful here. Ben. Might look like he's at half health, but he can still one-tap the Senna if given the opportunity to do so. Bit of an anti-synergy there, but they're still going to be able to find the kill as Sword Art takes out Perks in the midst of that one. Suning now barreling down the mid lane. They remember what happened last time they let G2 get to try to find that first seed. You can see that G2 uh, were really hunting around to see if they could get an unfair fight when Ben was off into a side lane, but Suning expertly sniffed that one out and just really uh, putting the damage in with a lot of this poke from Huang Feng. Two ways crashing. Jumping forward, laying down a little bit of damage. Can't quite proc the passive. And meanwhile, a tower is going to fall. And that looks oh. like Yanko's just deleted. He's so squishy at this point in the game. Perk simply next. They're going to take him out too. They're ignoring Caps. They're just chopping down squishy members one at a time. Caps wants to do everything that he can to bring this one back, but he can't even kill SOFM. Mickey going to get dropped as well. Precision protocols left and right, and it will be a tactical sweep for Sooning because they are just cleaning house. G2 could not do it when it mattered most. They wanted to secure first seed. They'll get another shot to do so, but they'll deny the chance for Team Liquid to play their way out of this group. And the FPX logos, the Invictus Gaming logos flash Sooning are saying we may be the third seed, but we are here to represent the LPL. It is World Championships back to back for us, and you cannot count us out. They will get the tiebreaker for G2 to see who gets first in this group. For G2, a few minutes to go back to the drawing board to figure out what they need to do next for Sooning. Disaster averted, no longer just fighting for a chance at second seed, instead, fighting for.